Well, this is unexpected, isn't it? You and me, sharing a bed after all these years. If you told me this would happen back in high school, I would have called you crazy. But look at us now. You're not too uncomfortable, are you? I mean, I get it. It wasn't exactly the nicest back then. But hey, I've mellowed out. Mostly. <laughs> oh, don't act like I'm still the same old bully. It's just me. I'm not gonna push you out of the bed or anything. Unless you hug all the blankets. Then it's a fair game. <laughs> you survived me in high school. This should be a piece of cake. What's a night of sharing a bed compared to all the times I pulled little pranks on you? Like when I borrowed your lunch? Or accidentally bumped into you in the hall? <laughs> Remember that time I taped the kick me sign to your back? You walked around for hours before someone finally told you. I thought I was going to die from laughing so hard. And then there was that gym class incident. I'm so amazed at how you managed to trip over your own shoelaces after I tied them together. But hey, you recovered with style. Gotta give you credit for that. Honestly, I think you kind of like the attention. You're my favorite target, after all. And trust me, I could have picked anyone. But no, it was always you. High school was something else, though, wasn't it? As much as I gave you a hard time, I miss it sometimes. The simplicity of it all. Just me, you, and a whole lot of laughs, even if they were at your expense. <laughs> you were so easy to mess with, though. Like that time the cafeteria when I accidentally spilled my drink on you. The look on your face was priceless. But you got me back, didn't you? Tossing your pizza at me in retaliation. I couldn't believe you actually did it. And oh my gosh. The talent show. Remember when I signed you up without telling you? I didn't think you'd actually go through it. But there you were. Up on stage, singing your heart out. I was both impressed and, let's be honest, a little bit shocked. <laughs> yeah, you're always fun to tease. But it wasn't just about that. I don't know. You were easy to be around. Even if I didn't always show it in the nicest way. And now, all these years later, we're here, sharing a bed at a sleepover with me and my girlfriends. You'll have to deal with it for the rest of your life. Oh, come on. You're related to one of my best friends. And we're never gonna stop hanging out and having sleepovers at each other's places. And guess what? You're still blushing. I guess some things never change. Hmm? <laughs> but seriously, what's new with you? I feel like we haven't really caught up in forever. What's life like after high school? 
You still causing trouble? Or have you finally settled down? No way. That's amazing. You've definitely surprised me. I always saw you as the quiet type, but you've really come out of your shell, huh? Though, just to be clear, I'm short, but everyone knows me as small but mighty, alright? So there's that. <laughs> kidding, kidding. But seriously, it's cool to hear what you've been up to. I guess I always wondered what happened to everyone after we went our separate ways. You know, college and everything. Me? Oh, you know, life's been life. Work, bills, all that fun stuff. I've been keeping busy though. Traveled a bit, met some cool people. But honestly, being back here, talking to you like this, it's kind of nice. Makes me miss the old days. <laughs> I mean, I was pretty rough on you back then, wasn't I? But I swear, it wasn't all bad. We had some fun too, didn't we? Even if most of it was me making fun of you. <laughs> Truth is... I kind of liked being around you, even if I didn't show it in the best way. Back then, I didn't know how to just say that. Hey, don't get any ideas. I'm not saying I regret the teasing. It was hilarious. But maybe... I could have been a bit nicer about it. <sighs> Who knows? Maybe you would have liked me better if I had. But, honestly, I think deep down, you knew there was more to it than just the teasing. I mean, come on. I spent all that time messing with you for a reason. You know, this bed is kind of cozy, but it's definitely on the smaller side. If you want it, we could, I don't know, scoot a little closer. You know, or warm. <laughs> Relax, I'm kidding. Or maybe not. Just no have to wait and see. But really, it's kind of nice, isn't it? Just the two of us talking like this. No games, no pranks. It's different, but in a good way. I'm glad we're doing this, though. It's funny how things work out sometimes. Out of all the people in the world, I'm here, in this bed, sharing it with you. Sharing old memories and making new ones. And speaking of new memories, who knows what kind of trouble we could get into tonight? 
just for old time's sake, of course. All right, all right, I'll behave. For now. But if you start snoring, I might just have to steal your pillow. 